Hi, my name is Siddharth and I'm a travel blogger, vlogger, photographer and a designer. And I've been on a sabbatical for about a year. And in today's video, mein, we'll talk about uh, how my sabbatical has been, what I've learned, things that I've achieved, things where I've failed. And also in the end, I'll talk about if sabbatical is the right strategy for you in case you want to take a break in your work life right now. Join me and hopefully we'll all learn something together here. So I'm in Leh right now and it's a cold, cold morning. It's also a very clear morning. So I'm planning to walk up to the Shanti Stupa, which is very close to where I live in the guest house. And as I walk, I will talk about my sabbatical. And in the end, you'll also get to see some nice views, hopefully from up there. I'm pretty sure by now you must have noticed my purple looking nose. Ah, unfortunately, it's completely sunburnt. This is the second time I've been Leh. I've been applying sunscreen every single day. Yet, my nose refuses to not burn. So yeah, in this video, you'll have to live with this really terrible looking nose. I'm sorry. But first things first, what exactly is a sabbatical? Now, sabbatical is a break in your career during which time you are still employed by the organization that you are working with, but you may not be paid or you may be partially paid or you may be fully paid. It really depends on the HR policy of your organization. But this is a time during which you can do whatever you want to do. You may use this time to learn something new. You may use this time to learn a new skill, travel the world, or you may use this time to do absolutely nothing. It's completely up to you. Sabbatical is a time when you're employed, but not really working. So when you come back to the organization, you still have a job and you don't lose it. Uh, so yeah, that's how it's different from resigning from a job. Sabbatical is just a break from your job. So in my case, when I applied for a sabbatical at my organization, oh, by the way, it's called uh, Laddell Medical, and I've also done a TEDx talk about the work that we do there. So yeah, my story again. Uh, I'd been working with Laddell for more than eight and a half years, and uh, I think I was generally liked, and my work was also generally appreciated. So when I actually spoke to my manager and told him that I wanted to take a sabbatical, and later on to the HR as well, uh, I think everyone was pretty much in favor of that. They wanted me to take this time off to heal, to to get back more energized and happier at my workspace. I first took a six month sabbatical and at the end of six months, I reached out again to my HR and told them if I could extend it by another six months. And they were gracious enough to let me do that. So yeah, that's how I have a one year sabbatical. So here is my first learning from my sabbatical. In my case, my life slowed down dramatically and I didn't have to wake up early morning thinking about the deliverables I had to do. I didn't have to think about a long-term plan, a short-term plan for my organization. I could only think about myself and it was okay. I didn't feel guilty about not working on a day. And this is something that I will take with me no matter where I go from here on. The second most important learning from my sabbatical was that my sabbatical was my own sabbatical, not anybody else's. So when I take a sabbatical, of course, I have a lot of free time, but everybody else will continue to live their own lives the way they were living before my sabbatical. So yeah, the sooner you accept this, the better it is, because that's when you'll start accepting all the time as your own. The expectations from others that they would join in in your sabbatical plans will go away. In my case, I spent a lot of my sabbatical months traveling, just traveling. It's your own time. Uh, you have to figure out how you want to use it. Use it well, but don't expect others to be a part of it necessarily. Live these sabbatical months on your own because this is a time for self-discovery, which will not happen if you have a group with you. On your own, these months will really show you a new way of life. It's only six in the morning and it is getting really hot already. It's going to be a warm day in uh, late today. I've been carrying this bottle with me on all my trips for the last 11 years now. 
बाकी सब चीज़ें बदल गई बट दिस बॉटल हैज स्टेट कंसिस्टेंट ऑल दिस वाइल्ड एनी वे लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द थर्ड थिंग दैट आई लर्न ड्यूरिंग माई सबैटिकल एंड दिस इज काइंड ऑफ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वन डू नॉट थिंक ऑफ योर सबैटिकल एज जस्ट happy months or happy times especially if you are taking a sabbatical because you feel burnt out at work or for self healing it can be a few tough months during a sabbatical i remember my first few months were actually alone in my flat with nobody else definitely not happy times be prepared for that and i have to be prepared for going up further i have only come half way through and i'm huffing and puffing and there's a long way to go ahead still So finally this is my last learning from my sabbatical and it is an important one so listen carefully because i think this might be the most important learning and it is a fact that when you take a sabbatical don't make it all about achieving something that's what you do when you're working sabbatical is when you're not working so yeah i've been working a lot during my sabbatical but really following only my heart and not my head uh and let's see what happens after one year maybe i'll reach somewhere but i think following your heart is important So do I recommend that you should take a sabbatical? Now that's a very loaded question and I'm not quite sure if I can answer this for you but this is what I would recommend. If you feel that you need to take a break in life, you're feeling stuck, just do it. There's no better time than now to do it. Don't wait for something else to happen before you do it. In my case I needed time to self heal and uh, so I took the break. I'm not sure if I achieved my objective from the sabbatical but I also know that if I could go back in time and change anything I would definitely not change it. I would do exactly what I did uh, about a year back when I asked for the sabbatical. So, yeah, my suggestion is again the same. Do it if you feel right now is the right time to do it. I've reached the top of Shanti Stupa and I'm the only one here. बहुत शांति है बहुत ही बहुत ही बहुत ही पीसफुल टाइम है यहाँ पे लविंग इट हम गो नो टू द हायर लेवल जो टॉप लेवल है यहाँ पे एंड सिट देर एंड मेडिटेट फॉर अ वाइल I really hope you found something useful in my video about sabbatical especially if you are planning to take one if you like the video do like it here on youtube as well leave a comment and subscribe to my channel this really helps me in making more such videos in future as well it's time to head back now back to the homestay so tada see you in the next video kya chahiye tumko